frankincense with benjamin must only wear bright or pastel colors yeah oh yeah yeah because yeah because i'm dark so you put a dark oh. man against the dark background it's like what? <laughs> there is an invisible man on the mic <laughs> Who the hell is speaking? <laughs> I'm so dead. Okay, all right. Flight mode. Hey everybody, um, welcome to another yeah. edition of Before You Weekend. It um, is another Friday, and I hope you are. I hope you've gathered your glasses, your bottles, and put the. Make sure you're pouring your drinks in mugs because we can't have your boss blaming us for your negligence. <laughs> um once again calvin's back welcome back home. yo shout out shout out shout out i'm excited because like we in we at am studios and i wasn't here when, when we first moved here so mm. i'm excited it's pretty dope shout out to am um, to the am team like they've been really dope yeah no they, they've been um good. they've been really dope really helpful um in making sure that like you know we bring this to life yeah so i'm excited i'm really excited and yes i'm back in the country speak of which you know i actually got a had it not been for you pushing, so maybe I should give you guys context for those yes. who only jumped in on YouTube. We've been doing this for, we said a year, a year, a year and some, more than a year or so on Instagram. Uh, yeah, two, two. We, st- we started in 2021 because there was still lockdown regulations. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we couldn't meet. That's why we did that. Yeah. So I'm saying this, and I think I'm going to put this equivocally on camera. I want to thank you because... You 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 figured out a way around my resistance against the podcast, and I didn't realize what this could potentially grow into um, until we actually put it on YouTube to see how people are feeling about this and started developing content around it. And it's cool to see the reaction that we're getting. Yeah, um, I'm, I get random messages like, "Okay, this is what we've been looking looking for. This makes sense." Um, someone said they watch this from the office and they like watch it on their phone next to their laptop, and it's like, "This is cool to hear." That's um, dope. I didn't think it's gonna. I didn't think it's gonna cause the effect that it's causing now. And I'm not. I'm not trying to blow our horns and say we're viral or whatever. But no, you yeah, can see yeah. there's an audience who goes, "This is what we've been looking for." These kind of conversations. Yes, mm. you can bring your most famous person. We know who they are, where they're from. We've heard all those interviews. This is how they feel about Mbeki today. Type thing. Don't drop the phone. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Shut up, boy. I mean, you know that we've like we've created content for so many years, mm. and. Yo, guys, before it was called content creation. We yeah, were doing content. We, were, we were doing content before the term content Before there was an creation. industry. <laughs> exactly. So I think it was just like, because um, I know how you, you know, how you think. And like, I know the visions, like we've spoken so many times. So seeing the bear, I'm always like, I was always trying to find the solutions to our problems. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I've always kept it in the back of my mind. Like, yo, for the people, TV is a whole thing. Mm. And I want to say this on camera. This man had the concept of a channel being operating like a TV channel, like your SABs and stuff, before we had podcasting networks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been a while. And that, like, when that even came up, I was like, you know, at that time, I already knew, like, obviously with, like, the MTVs and, yeah. like, yeah, I could see that. But, like, for it to come through, like, years later and... Now people are doing that, etc. I was like, yo. Mm. And so I still believe in it because of what you uniquely want to do. Mm. So hence I was like, nah, we got to do this, bro. Yeah. And that's why I was like, shout out to M Studios for letting us pull up and like, you know, giving us the space to do what we want to do. And yeah. we're going to do so much more, I think. Definitely. Um, we've got, yeah, we've got a lot. We've got a lot. So you guys stay tuned. Definitely. Uh, and yeah. Shout out how, to you, bro. How was Spain? Spain was dope. Yeah. Like, I won't even lie. Let me guess. Did a white girl meet you guys at a bar and go, so two black guys walk into a bar. <laughs> I would walk out. <laughs> this is this is the most racist pickup line to start with. Nah. Um, I mean, off the top, it's like the engagement's like a little bit different. They, you feel black, couldn't you, though? Can you feel like uh, you're yeah. a black guy in Spain? You can you can literally count the number of black people like in the room or like mm. even outside. Mm. Like, we're like, oh, number six. How is that adjustment for you? I mean, I've always been token black guy, so okay. okay. And and in my head, I'm global, so yeah. I understand like I'm in Spain. Mm. Um, it's just interesting to like speak about it and be like, this is the case in the room, yeah, type of thing. Um, like, oh, they, but like after you see this black guy here, there isn't for like a a bit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, not a crazy adjustment for me, mm. but like you, it's something to observe and have a conversation about. Do Do they get anything right that South Africa should maybe look into? Yes, off the top, it's something that we spoke about quite a bit. Town planning, I'll tell you that. That's the one, the first things you'll notice on the surface. Their town planning is better than ours. Town planning is on point. They literally don't have 
for for one, I'm going to mention this, which might not necessarily be about like town planning aspect. I don't know if having a mall or shopping centers a pro and a con, but they don't have shopping centers. Mm. They've got like the main cities or whatever areas are a lot of apartments, and all the stores are built under okay. that. So the same way we have in like Sunnyside, mm-hmm. right? Sunnyside is built like that, but for us, it's not really you. You wouldn't necessarily want to stay in certain parts of like a sunny side or a town. Yeah. Sorry, actually, to be more specific, town, mm. right? You don't want to stay in that block of flats necessarily. For us, it's not a ideal, but for them, it is mm. because everything is conveniently at the bottom or down the road, etc. Mm. They've built it like that. Then another key thing, which comes to recreational spaces and uh, for for the youth, um, I couldn't count the number of courts basketball courts soccer courts outdoor indoor courts or tennis courts i couldn't finish counting them Mm. on one strip i counted about 10 in one road Mm. because that's a whole thing they like an active city yeah um i can't speak on madrid per se so i guess i was in spain but i was in valencia specifically Mm. so i haven't been to madrid yet Mm. to see how that looks like but they had that do they they do the whole bike bicycle thing yeah that whole thing, it's a whole thing. Um, scooters, they're very active people. Like they're outside, like, yo, we're outside, outside. Mm. So the town planning, you could see it. It makes sense. They've thought it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. sounds good. That sounds good. Where to next? Um, Where's next? Dubai? No, UK, UK. UK. Heading to UK in the next two weeks. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Manchester. Okay. Sounds fun. Yeah. I'm excited about that because I'm a Manchester United fan. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah. <laughs> you see. Yeah, okay, look, I'm not proud of our, t- you know, the team necessarily, but, mm-hmm. hey, Manchester, <laughs> you know, got to ride out. It's like the, it's like, are you still a Warriors fan? I did not expect, I did not expect that. Um, I had to ask. I wasn't here to yeah. ask it. So Wa- the, Warriors I'm, I'm still checking. has it. It's just, there's just one or two players that need to be swapped out and sold. Then we're good. I mean, y'all put out KD. I don't know why y'all did that. No, no, no. KD wanted to leave. Y'all put out KD. I don't know why y'all he did that. He knew he needed to be with Warriors <laughs> to get a ring. Without Warriors, he wasn't going to get one. Because, you know, nobody <laughs> can play like KD, you know. How do you feel about KD, though? A brilliant player. I think he... he it's funny I when he like plays because he looks really slanky. Like, he's not he's not a muscled tall guy. Yes. He's a skinny tall guy. So when you see him move, it's like, oh, that's interesting. But he's got power. Yeah. He drives through the people. It's right, very, very interesting. He's good. I am sad Lakers is out, though. I don't. <laughs> well, they have, I to, they have to create an avenue. I am. We have to make a way for Butler to get the ring, and that's crazy because it's written like that. Yeah, that's so wild. Yeah, but I'm I'm rooting for the Heat heavily because that's my other team. Yeah, I, 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 like, I don't think anyone wants the Nuggets to win. Actually, they they're, they're a great crazy, team, but isn't no that one's crazy that they Nuggets made it to the they made it to the finals, dude? Yeah, but that Nikola guy, of course, that guy. Okay. He's a different animal. Okay, true, true, true. I was at a stand-up comedy uh, event last night. So this, you know, I love stand-up comedy. Um, you need to invite me to these things, dog. You talk about stand-up comedy like going. He, you go a lot actually. Yeah, and I miss with stand-up comedy, but like I only watch it on like. One of my dreams is to be able to figure out how do you reinvent the industry because I feel like something is broken there. It should be a whole oh, lot bigger than what it is. Because um, you're basing it on how we see the other. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, there's no you. way Africans. We should be selling out stadiums already, mm. and something looks wrong in the industry, even in South Africa. But I mean, I have to. I like, mean, you should have a chat with Umpa Pops. Umpa Pops, when you see this, WhatsApp me. I mean, I let's have I a meeting. Could, you, we could call him and ask him. Or we, yeah, you know. Um, so this show it was focused on upcoming people, people on the rise. Mm. Um, and I forgot. I think the guy's name's Hossa or something. I'll put in. The, I'll put in the text. Yeah, there's something he says. He he's from Zambia, and he says. Um, he can't he can't read Bemba. It's a language there. Yeah. Um, and it's funny because if you can't read Bemba, they just say, "Oh, he can't read Bemba." But mm-hmm. if you can't read English, the world calls you illiterate. Illiterate. Ah. Uh, Here is a whole conversation. Uh, there is something we need to talk about. But once again, it's how how much more divided do we need to does the does the world want us to be? I mean, it's the whole accent thing as well, right? Mm. Like. You speak with a weird accent, people look at you funny. Yeah. But when you when you're in Spain and they speak English with a weird accent, mm. it's what? It's oh that's so it sounds so sexy. Yeah. It's a, you know what I'm saying? So mm. that yeah, it's it's crazy that thing you're talking about. 
uh, a poet, Africa, Africa Lamini, I think that's his name. He also said something similar. He said, hmm. um, it's funny when I type my name on Google, it says I'm spelling my name wrong. Wrong. <laughs> you know what I was thinking the other so day? it's not a Black Panther episode. I'm, we're just venting. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Into the news <laughs> I was thinking, like, somehow uh, Siri should be updated to be able to, like, say... In yeah. fact, no, I think my trail of thought was like they should have the like an essay African bo- an African Sandile. Siri. Like, yeah, like I want Siri to speak in Spitori. Yes. You know, and Siri, like, no, bo, na braga, or so la telo. I'm only meeting in 30 minutes. No, but would you take, would you take your phone seriously? It was, if you, if I told you, if it reminded you, I don't know. You're being racist. I, no, I think I'll be, I'll be hypocritical. Like, <laughs> sir, you mean it's going to start an hour. Let's be honest. <laughs> no, but I was thinking around, especially with the names, how it pronounces names. Because like, I've, I'll have my AirPods on and a text or call. So, I, so uh, my Siri does that thing where it, it tells me what's happening mm-hmm. on my phone. So like, you just got a message from TK Masilo, send your message, and it says the following, and it reads the message. Yeah. But obviously, it says like TK Masilo. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm, and mm, I'm like, mm. who the hell is that? Sometimes mm. it says a name wrong completely, mm. and I had to go, who's that? That's you interesting. Know? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't know. Should we be fighting for inclusivity? And I want to know from you guys as Look, well. Look, I'm like, not fighting. I'm I, I, I think we. I mean, as Africans, ideally, if we had all the money in the world, we have all the resources in the world that we know. But if there was a way we aren't fighting to be included among white America or white Europe and we just included ourselves, do you understand how happy we'd be? What do you mean include ourselves? Like, Africans are divided against themselves. It's okay. only now we like we're slowly getting to this transition of being one, and we got to figure out a way to open trade and figure out how we just work together. Yeah. Cool, but. We always fighting to be. We still have the first black conversation. Ah, that's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah, like oh we oh if Beyonce is doing a world tour, but Africa is not on the world yeah. tour, not on the map. It's little things like that. Like why are we fighting to be mentioned in someone else's list? Can we just include ourselves? Ah, uh, okay, okay, I get that's, what you're saying. Like that's why, why I, does that still move us? Yeah, is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Like that's why I'm. As much as I don't like his music, I like what Casper and Nasty are about to do. This whole African tour, like, oh, you get I it now. Like, you don't, you, you, yeah. America doesn't need to be part of this. Or Europe. It's about Africa. Mm. That's how we need to start thinking. They must want a desire to be here and, and be curious mm. about what's going on here. Forget I feel America. that. We're done. I mess with that. We've never needed them. That's the real truth. They just created the narrative that we did. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I get that. And I'm with it. Because I think it's also like in line with how we trying to do... Um, our movement and stuff like you know Africa's a whole thing yeah. definitely is definitely is. so I get you yeah and shout out to that whole Nasty C and Casper thing I saw that mm. and you know it's crazy because I was wondering like what's what's next for Casper you know yeah. because like Nasty C still got like his whole trajectory of what he's trying to do in America and not taking away because mm-hmm. but by actual fact if you notice his movements He's moving. He's still doing the Africa. Uh, sorry, the America move, but he's double back. He stepped back two. He went two steps back, and he's like back in SA trenches because yeah, like yeah. he's doing like joints and they and they fire stuff. Like he's got stuff coming out like McGlare and them. He had a studio camp in Cape Town. Mm. Actually, um, we happened to bend that side same time and we bumped into the boys in the club and whatever. They were shooting some visuals and whatever to some of the songs they just did. Mm. You know, so there's a lot of like. Okay. Um, movement that he's doing with the guys that are coming up. He's linked up with Mash Beats, mm. Slick as well, DJ Slick. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's interesting to see how he's doing that play. But I was wondering what's Casper's next move mm. in terms of outside of brand because we still see him doing the brand moves. Yeah, yeah. But where music is concerned, or not that he has to. I mean, Kanye exists and he's broken that narrative. Yeah. But, and I mean, he's got the the deal with Drip. Mm-hmm. This is Casper. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but I was wondering, like, what does that look like after you've done, like, the fill-up and whatever? Because you can't run back to that, you know, yeah. where SA is concerned. Yeah. So when I saw this, I saw it yesterday. Yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. this is dope. Shout yeah. out. Because doing an Africa tour, like you're saying, is a real thing. Yeah. And we got to do it first. Yeah. Before somebody else comes and runs the Africa tour, etc. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. Artists and creatives should be going to a country as a nobody and working it. Like, yes, you might get your, all your respect in the streets, you know, but okay, go find another challenge. And it's not America. It's, yeah. Yeah. Yes. And that's actually, a, you know, it's a challenge that, you know, we've taken even as an entity. Like, 
having being able to go through Africa and have being able to go through Africa and have business or have a tour, etc. Yeah, we make it so, we make it seem like it's it's easy, but it is a challenge. Mm. But but there's so many there's so much fruits from being able to interact and have an economy that connects to Africa like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm happy for them. I'm excited. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In news now, a nun got exhumed four years after she died, and her body didn't decompose. I saw that thing. Everything is intact. They're calling it a miracle. There was, there was something specific about it. I just forgot, but I saw that. It was like sitting in a weird position, but it was sitting in the exact same position. Yeah. They, they, they called it a miracle. I don't know. Have you not watched horror movies? This, <laughs> this is how they start. And plus, the nun's black. Do you think you're going to have peace in your life? You know? <laughs> Do they any, know anything about our culture? You don't do that. <laughs> what are you doing touching <laughs> that? <laughs> Did nobody like, you don't tell listen. them? <laughs> Africans have been trying to <laughs> tell people like, no. Leave, leave that shit. No, oh, man. I With saw Jesus that. Jesus said, yeah. let the dead bury the dead. Let the dead bury <laughs> the dead. <laughs> like, you didn't understand what he was talking about. Like, are you, boy, are you trying to get yourself in trouble? Oh, and no. They, and they stay doing that. They took it out and put it in a hole. They told the state, guys, come look. What guys? Yeah, I saw that thing. There, uh, there was a detail. There was a detail in there that I read that made it even more interesting. But I now I just forgot it now. Um, I got some of it. Uh, um, well, they said hundreds of people have been coming to the state to come see it. Uh, wait, wait, where was this again? In did they say Kansas City, America, right? Yeah, America. Yeah, guys, American. She died at ninety-five. Hi. You know what's funny? The person's name is Vilimina. <laughs> She's from Soweto, guys. She's not from America. They moved her over. <laughs> Just even worse. They don't know underground gang, do they? <laughs> they don't know underground they gang will come for you, boy. They don't. Um, <laughs> I, sorry, go, go, go. No, no, no. no. Um, I was literally going to say uh, the wildest thing yesterday. I'm literally coming off pop stuff that I picked up, which is so wild. Mm. Um, do you see Lucas Raps' tweet? I saw People are mad. <laughs> you know, in the world of social media, how easy it is to be offended oh by everything. Oh my gosh. Like, scrolling is an option. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking, is this a rollout plan or something? But if it is, it's a terrible rollout plan. Yeah. Don't do that. Mm. Mm. And I mess with homie. Like, I've, I've, met, I've met the homie a couple of times. I mess with these raps. Mm. You know, excuse the pun. I do. Like, I think he's dope. Mm. I don't think that was necessary. At all. Maybe he was just expressing himself. Yeah, no. You can express yourself, man. But no. No, not like that, dog. I, I think when you reach a certain level in your career, you got to remember on social media, you're not a normal person. So mm, yeah, yeah. Yes, I can yes. go, guys, I can listen to I'm a piano for two minutes and then my body's done. Yes. He can't say that. No. Not when you're part of the musical entity that yeah. is SA. Yeah. Right? It's how Lady Do was commenting on KO. Mm. You can't come out and say that like that. Yeah. Right? I don't even know what she was saying. And then she came out and said, no, nah, I didn't say anything hectic. Yeah. I'm like, yo, with all respect, like, you can't say that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a mutual respect until you say something wild. Yeah. Then the mutual respect gets tricky. Then you wonder why when people start coming out and saying stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, now, now he's opened a can of worms because now people are coming out and saying, yo, yeah. but you moving like this. Yeah. But the same people you're talking about are out the country. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Now, now there's a scope on you. And I was like, yeah. you were doing just fine yeah. to try even figure out how you getting past your struggles. Mm. Now, on top of that, you want to cast shadow on yeah. the next. Don't do that. Yeah. Do 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 you think people keep stories of you just in their archives because they know one day you're gonna say something stupid and then I'm gonna bring out this file like ha ah, abracadabra or I think I think I think people do that which is weird like you spend so I much energy I'm receipts. gonna keep this moment yeah people keep receipts. I'm gonna screenshot this yeah three years later you're gonna tell me you love me especially <laughs> the Twitter people ah listen <laughs> like people that are like social media type based like that. Yeah. They be keeping screenshots. It's, it's a weird culture to have. I don't know. Screenshots and receipts. Yo, my man. <laughs> that's why if you're going to put it out there, you must know this is what I'm putting out. And that's True. what it is. True. Right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, TV presenter, former NFL um, superstar, Shannon Sharp. This house got broken into. Uh, oh. They stole a million, over a million dollars of jewelry. I think this is jewelry and bags. Shannon Sharp says, I will give 50K in reward for any tips. <laughs> Did you not say your jewelry is over a million dollars? You know what? I'll give tips to the guy who stole to go, listen, hide even more. What? <laughs> the math has to make sense. I'm sure everyone's going, I would help. But for 50K, <laughs> over a million, <laughs> sir, give me, I'll get 100K from the thief. Just to keep quiet. Yeah, just to keep quiet. Like, <laughs> what? Listen, I was going to say something, because I know you're here. <laughs> But you can just give me... <laughs> like, why did that make sense? It just reminded me of... Um, I was watching the Popcorn and Cheese episode of uh, with Donald. Mm-hmm. They had Donald as a guest. Oh, a great episode. Yeah, yeah. Shout out, shout out to those guys. Shout out to the episode. Yeah. Um, Donald was talking about his red mic because he lost his red mic. Mm. And then there was a reward for it. So, no, no, no. Let me be specific. Tebow Touch put out an award, a reward for it. So Tebow Touch gets on radio and goes, yo, my homie's mic is, you know, somebody done repossessed it. We're putting out an, a reward for anybody can give us information and give us, and get us get the mic back. Mm. Get us the mic back. Mm. Then he goes from 50000 to 100000 Okay, we up in the reward. 100000 I laughed when I was watching the episode because Donald's like, y'all could have bought a new mic with yeah. 100000 <laughs> You could have bought four. You'd be fine. <laughs> Like what? What's that going on? Me, it's like when the rewards don't make sense yes. to what you're saying. <laughs> um, but I think a more accurate one, which was very hectic, years back, Ryan Leslie lost his laptop. So this is like he's leading up to his album. He's working on his next album, etc. I remember this, yeah. And then his album got stolen. Um, and then he put out a reward for a million. And do you know what's crazy? Mm. His cousin stole the laptop. Oh, they found. I don't know that part. I, I thought. That, I thought. It, I thought it was gone. So, but what happened is they bring back the laptop with nothing on it, because they know. said, because because the words are, if you bring the laptop, assuming you're not going to touch the data, affect the data on the laptop. Yeah, they said nothing about the data, and then guess what happens? So he because because like he's him and his people go, yo, but where's everything? Right, the laptop is here, but where's everything? Mm. Then the guy's like, "Yo, but you guys said the laptop, so mm. I want my million." And then they're like, "Nah, but we want, you know, the star." Mm. Then he took Ryan to court, and sued court for mis- I don't even know what, because he he brought back the laptop. Mm. Where's his million? Mm. Ryan mm. lost the case. Hectic. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Woman, I understand why you want to stay single now. This this makes sense. Damn, for real. Yo. <laughs> he lost the case. Because his wording was, if you return the laptop, you'll get a million. They returned the laptop. They took everything off. Crazy. Look, I, I think we all know how frustrating family can be, but imagine it, imagine it going that far. Dude. Dude. That's so far. That changes everything. It's so far. Forget foul. Christmas. Forget it, whenever we have family gatherings. Just know I'm not coming. It's so foul, dude. Because all you had to do was just be like, yo, I'm just in a pocket. Maybe if there's some... You don't even have to ask for the handout. Yeah. Like, yo, is there something around you that yeah. I can do for, you know? Mm. Or is there somebody you can plug me with? That's it, bro. But this is why this makes such a great segue because uh, Zonka has removed all her music on all streaming platforms and created an app if you want to listen to her music. Oh, hectic. Now, I think it's a good idea. I'm not sure. Um, but But let me hear you out. It reminds me of when AK did something similar. <clears throat> exactly. And I feel, I think this could be approached differently. You need buy-in from from all the, from the talents themselves. Mm-hmm. So go, let, let's all move our stuff to this platform and rearrange the numbers and rearrange contracts. I think that's all it literally needed because now you're literally destabilizing the people who held up how streaming works <clears throat> or whatever. Um, for one person to go... You can find all my music here. Now you must download another app and subscribe. It's it's it, it's going to be a tedious process for people for for people who want to just listen and who are just curious. For your fans, maybe it will be easy. 
but for the rest of, the rest of us who like yeah. you and appreciate yeah. what you do, yeah, we're yeah. not prepared to go that far. Yes. Yeah. I feel you. I agree with you because even like um, just the whole concept in itself. I was speaking to somebody about that recently. Um, I think Sia. Yeah. Well, I spoke about that. And I was just like, when, when, when AK did it, the timing was just, I think like if AK did it now, he would have, like if that was his next step, he would have killed it. Yeah. Because AK's numbers are crazy. AK's fan base is insane. Yeah. Right? When he did it, it was a bit premature to the to the consumption behavior consumer behavior. Yeah, yeah. Right? And my question is, and maybe that's what we don't know, what's Zonka's numbers? What do Zon- Zonka's numbers look like? Yeah. Because you, people like Zonke, Lira, Mafigazolo, they've got this dedicated listenership, mm. which could be well over a million. Mm. And if they're calculating, excuse me, if they're calculating and be like, if we just have a hundred thousand people come in and subscribe at what a hundred rand, yeah, to be like I'm, a, I'm getting a Zonke membership, yeah, they then they done, yeah, right. Then by and and I'll and it'll be funny if they do what I'm about to say, because then you take everything off, you put on the platform, you literally do the title move, you do it for a short space of time, mm. you get your million two three million then you put everything back on the streaming that is an avenue right yeah because title did that title was like for that first the first phase of the run they signed i think six artists mm. including rihanna mm. you know rihanna jay-z beyonce i think type of thing mm. <clears throat> excuse me and there were three other artists i just don't remember them mm. and the next albums after title launched were exclusive to title mm. but then later then they were just general. Yeah. Right? Mm. So now they've got that spike. Yeah. And they get their money, they get their thingy. Now you and I have title subscription. Mm. Now we are, which mm. is what they wanted. I guess that's smart. So I guess that's the move. I was thinking about now, at first I was like, mm, but now. But I'm thinking it's also <coughs> about like, like you, I think you said something similar. It's also kind of relative to status. So if AK had his app now, and let's say he was mentoring five to 10 artists. Hmm. He can say, "Hey guys, this is it's not my label. Whatever we want to, however we would want to define it. Yeah. But these are the artists I'm working with, and you can slowly create some demand. That if you want to hear more of these people, you have to you have to tap into the community. And I think oh. that's where talents mess it up: the community building. Because creating content, that's creating music, all this stuff's easy. I mean, as Africans, we are creative at birth, yes. so we don't struggle with content. It's cool. It's how do you monetize and how do you create a community from those two things? Those are the two most important things with, with what mm. you put out. So, so 1020 Cartel could do that. Java. Exactly. He can go, guys, we off all the apps. If you really like our stuff, we have 15 artists and you can enjoy our mm. variety of music. That's interesting. And then you can go, guys, radio station. I think that's interesting. Guys, just yeah. 50% or 40% of whatever you're about to create. Is yes, all just, just fun before you weekend. Just DM us for the ideas. We've got many, guys. You've seen the episodes. But anyway, <laughs> no, yeah. but I get what you're saying. So especially the guys that are moving with as groups, yeah. it works much better yeah. for that consumption. Because you're, you're essentially going, right. I have, I, have R- I have my own R&B department. These are the artists. I have my own house department. These are the artists. Yeah. You, basically, you, ha- you have your own library over time. Yeah, I think what, what would be powerful is like a piano hub or like a black boy music could do that. That's my Boris and, and, and Gabza. Yeah. That would be heavy if yeah. they did that too. Yeah. You know? I get what you're saying. I really do. So not an individual platform, but exactly. an entity platform. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's that's I okay. feel like that's the only thing Zonka would have needed. Zonka would have needed. Mm. Get a whole whole group, even if it's just Amanda Black and I don't know who else is part of that who fits yeah, that Lira, kind of yeah, circle. Lira, you and know. done. Mm. And say and tell all your managers, take all your stuff off the DSPs. Mm. I'm actually working on something I need to put you on actually you just remind me of the Zonga chat guys this is this is how this is how friends work you have yeah. to make money together 100% somehow find a way fully all the time uh, Tusan Bedu ambassador of mm. L'Oreal in sub-Saharan Africa Tusan Bedu is hard can we just start there like hard like if you if you there are three people out this country from SA that I watch Black Coffee, Shimza, mm. and Tusan Bedu. Hard. Mm. Like, everything thought out, every move, every, like, damn. Mm. So, I'm not really surprised. Like, I saw that and I was like, yo. Because she hasn't got an Oscar yet, right? Not yet. 
but it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. There's a tweet. Whoever I'm, agent is, is putting in the work. I think that's one of the things. They, they two people. It's two teams I don't want to meet. Did I say two? Am I right? Two? Yes. In America, if I can sit for a day with Drake's team or Tuso's team, yeah. Yeah. They just, dude, like from when she landed, like this. She's been working. Like this clockwork. Yeah. I know, I know from, you know, personal chats, the first couple of years were, were a struggle. Like yeah. realistically so though. It wasn't like magical the whole way. But once she hit the beats, especially when she did the, the couple of moves with Viola, yeah, and Viola gave her the cosign, mm-hmm. gone, and mm-hmm. she's she works hard, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Tuso, bro. That's crazy. Like, you gone, gone. Now you're gone, gone. Like now, if you do DM, you gotta you gotta have something really good and creative to say. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even say I'm a pilot, and I also fly. What are we talking about? <laughs> like pri- private, we have something in common. What do you, you say? From me. <laughs> You, I could hire you. <laughs> you can only be in the other country with me because you don't have the money to get there. <laughs> yeah, but she she's incredible. She's incredible. She, I mean, and if you step back, like her story was just like, like SA has a ceiling and I need to take it there. And yeah. she took that leap. Yeah. Not a lot of people can do that. 100%. 100%. And a lot of people don't understand you got to even put in the work. Like yeah. there's so much work. Like everything, you know, watching all these people, especially like, even with, I guess the common one right now is piano. Mm-hmm. Oh, but uh, by the way, I'm a piano's gone, gone, yeah. gone. Yeah. Right. It's gone, gone. If anybody, the whole conversation, which is why Lucas raps is common, is come comes at the wrong time. Even mm. a year or two back, maybe. Mm. Now, no. Mm. You know, like, and you watching everybody step out the way they do, but these are people that like really want it. It's not even by chance or just like a plug or whatever. Like, you got to come out the way, Foka. There's a clip that Foka dropped. I don't know if you saw that. Where he did he did Afro Nation, main stage situation, etc. Then he did, like, New York. He went to New York, some show. Mm. Smaller stage. You can see by how the crowd is set up, etc. Mm-hmm. Smaller stage. And they were singing the song. They were singing the lyrics. Mm. I'm like, bro, there's nothing else, though. Yeah. You know, so... Everybody needs to understand, like, it's you got to put in the work. Yeah. And, like, guys like Tuso, Trevor Noah, Coffee, yeah. Shimza. Shimza puts in work. Calvin. Shout out. Appreciate that. Mm. You know. But, yeah. Yeah. People like Megan the Stallion. They put in work. Megan's yeah. dating Lukaku, guys. <laughs> you think that you're attributing her dating, dating him to, to her work? <laughs> uh, look. Hey, man. You know. You want to meet Megan and go, you work hard. <laughs> No, 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 I see the man. Forget the cause. <laughs> Him? You worked really hard. <laughs> I was like, man's invited her to a wedding as her plus one? I was serious. Because <laughs> you don't invite baddies to a wedding. Yeah. Like, you don't invite, like, a side to a wedding. Yeah. You go with, like, main. Yeah. But what's wild is that, like, after the whole, that whole thing came out. So, only now, like, the images came out. Like, she'd been talking. She'd been low-key talking about something guy she'd been dating from Italy apparently in her lyrics mm. I don't listen to Megan the Stallion mm. but apparently um, so only now it came out right but then the like right after the images and everything people are like yo this is so crazy because the dude she was with really stood by her crazily when she was going through all the wild stuff mm. right and then right after everything goes quiet she says I, I'm out <laughs> I think that's also wild. I mean, I don't have context. Yes, I don't have context. Like, full context, let me rather say. Yeah. But I, I still think it's a little bit, you know? I think in light of her traumatic <laughs> experience, she must she must put out a single and call it Foot Fetish. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. No, it's Money. Okay. People no. will listen just for curiosity. Oh, Foot what Fetish. What Yes. Billion streams, delete the song. Get your money. Oh, oh. I, okay. I get it. And then put it, come back with a song like next year or whatever. Oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but it's proven that soccer money is not the same, guys. Soccer money is different. Yeah, yeah. Lukaku just proved it. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, John Stenazen told a broadcaster that he believes the SA government has been supplying weapons to Russia for the for their war. Quite stupid. Wait, you don't think that's true? Whether it's true or not, <clears throat> what are you doing? 
talking to broadcasters as the opposing party about things you can't oh, even that's verify. A that's a DA guy, right? Yes. Speaking to an oh, American hectic. broadcaster. Oh, what do you hectic. think is going to happen? How do you think they look at us already after that other American diplomat ambassador guy messed up? Which guy is that? There's an American guy at the who represents who represents Ameri- at the ambassador. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he told America first that I think South Africa is shipping weapons to Russia. Oh, and then hectic. he had to retract the statement publicly. On, I think it was on TV. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. He had to retract the statement. And you can see in the in, in the <coughs> memes, now Lady Pando is just looking at him like, you, you, you dumbass. You <laughs> <laughs> like, um Oh, so then after that, after that he comes John's up. DNA, yeah, he comes up. He like, probably took it from, he took that move from him. That's not how you become president. Already your race is stopping you from becoming Yo, president. Yo, that guy's not becoming president. Now you're saying, I want to start further back. Let me tell you, that guy's not becoming president. I don't know what he's... His hopes are just to disrupt. Like, that. he's never becoming president. Yeah, he's enjoying the salary, for sure. For sure, you know. Um, but no, that's never happening. Yeah. I think... But it is to obviously discredit. Look, true or not true, but it is a move to try to discredit. Um, yeah, but that's been their game for... What over? Yeah, it's about a which decade. has been the problem, right? Which because we, we like, yo, what are you doing? Because yeah. your whole plan is like, ah, we're gonna discredit these guys and yeah. not, you know. Well, I mean, they're making Cape Town better for the people who have money. Yeah, it's still a silly plan. Yeah. Instead of doing it for the whole of Cape Town, like yeah, for everybody, yeah, and be the actual difference. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm. I need him to be able to sing the full national anthem before we can have a conversation. <laughs> Every time I walk into the room, I want to hear him sing the first, the first. <laughs> And then we're good. <laughs> if you're gonna be a white party leader, you better you better know something in Vinak. And I'm not saying that's gonna be the way you you rise to the top, but show that you're first African before uh, a leader. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. And that's what I appreciate with all the African countries. It seems like the white people in other African countries know their place. Yeah. Like, oh, this is not my land, so I must learn how to speak their language. Yeah. I'm not gonna force him to speak English. I appreciate that. Yeah. Like here we go. No, we'll learn your language. What is it, Afrikaans? What say what? <laughs> no, guys. Oh, that stuff makes me mad. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> today's, today's we're taking a weird turn on before you begin. Look, we gotta talk about it. It's what's been happening in the week, right? Yeah. Uh, what else has been popping? Eusebius McKayza passes away. Who passed away? Eus- Eusebius. He's uh he was a radio presenter on radio. Two. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I saw you posted that. That's why I saw that. Yeah. That's crazy though. I think the reason why that one, I've never known him or I've never really liked. I I, I appreciate his brain. He's 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 really smart. Yeah, I've seen some of his interviews. Yeah, as well. I think the CBS one almost reminded me of how I felt about Ricky Rick's passing. So, and I say this because I'm remembering like handle the heat days, where I just had the balls to just randomly DM everyone. Yeah, and be ready for a hundred no's and get the two yeses. Mm. Um, Shout out. There were some people I thought like I can't do this yet. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not there. I'm not at a level yet, but I can't say, "Yo, this is where we're at." I'd like you to come to and have a conversation mm-hmm. with you. And after Ricky's passing, and and now with Eusebius, it's like, how many? You don't know when you if you're ever gonna get a chance to send that invite to go, yo. That's true. You don't know if he's gonna say yes or he he or she's gonna say yes to having this conversation. Yeah. And th- that and I think the one the moment I read that I was sad like flip. Here's another person I wanted yes. to have a conversation with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, shout out, like I'm, I think I'm privileged to be one of the few people, one of the people, I guess, that have had conversations with Ricky, mm. and I think that's one thing that I do cherish where that's concerned. <clears throat> so I fully get that. I fully get that. Um, I do believe like I didn't have enough, and and that's why like every time the situations happen, it's like yo. So many conversations lost, so many like lessons and da 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 da. Yeah. Um yeah, yeah, crazy. So I get that. It's un it's 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 very sad and unfortunate. Yeah. So I think even you know, with all the platforms and all the podcasts, etc., it's like all the shows. And that's why it's like I feel some type of way about like shows that are not like constructive mm. because you could get so much for people to learn or look back on. Yeah. But you kinda choose to kinda just be mm. You know, when you have these people sit next to you, you kind of choose to just be like pop about it or just like fluff, yeah. which is so wild. Um, but I think platforms like even like Slick on Live, mm-hmm. like you know, like these balcony chats, mm-hmm. he's got one of like 
the he's got Ricky like twice on there, yeah. which is so dope. But there's an interview that he has with like Ricky and Huma Segura like, having a conversation. Mm. That's one of like such a dope setup. Yeah. yeah, I really mess with that one because like that's even just a unique concept on its own. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's why I always like. I feel like platforms should carry those conversations or those that knowledge. Yeah. For kids or the youth to yeah. be able to double back on. Yeah. And be like, yo, what was this person's like? You mm-hmm. know. Um, we got quite a bit on Ricky. Yeah. But I don't know, like you know, to what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, on top of that, with with the <coughs> weird world we're in, it's almost like here's another reminder: get get your life in order. Mm. As best as you can, get funeral cover, get whatever. Make sure you have wills, whether you have money or not. Just have a will. As you as you continue to gather assets and gather wealth, you'll fig- you'll redistribute and figure figure that out. But it's mm. almost like if you see this pass away at forty five, a person you never thought is going to pass away that early. How much more does it say you need to make sure your stuff's in order because you don't want to leave people in shock? Mm. Mm. That's very true. Such a crazy chat, and we don't really even talk about that setup. I don't think like a lot of people know what to do where that conversation is concerned like what do you do in terms of the formalities of it yeah you know i mean i personally don't think i know the whole conversation the whole way yeah so it is one of those crazy chats for real yeah like yo you got to make sure that your people are good but it's also like an interesting chat <coughs> or thing to have with your parents so like so so like for the for a lot of you as you don't know I think him and like very few know like my mom was in hospital ICU now you got to have those conversations like is everything in order mm. what's not are you is there debt is it what do I not know about that we need to fix, make a plan for and shout out to my older sister she like really handled she like carried the whole shout trip. out but it's like <clears throat> those conversations are are more are more parents are more urgent now more than ever because yeah you, we just don't know you don't yeah. know what you're eating you don't yeah. like we yeah. don't know you just gotta just to make sure we got low water. shedding now which is creating a whole like food poisoning situation yeah and that could like for somebody else especially somebody older that could be like something yeah wild you know it's crazy you mentioning that because like you remember like my mother was in ICU in twenty 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 one yeah like COVID she caught she caught COVID. Mm. And land in the hospital, and like it was super hectic, but we never had that chat actually. Mm. Now that I'm thinking about it, which mm. is crazy, because like I said, for for like general society, it's not like the first thing that comes to mind because it's not like like actual knowledge like that, right? Mm. Mm. Um, yo, hectic, bro. But like, it's like a must now. Like mm. We have to. Did you it. have that conversation because like your sister brought it up? She had the conversation yeah. with me initially. So uh, when I when I had when I when I was with my mom, it was it was a lot easier. But you could, you. It's not like you can run away from the emotions of that conversation, for sure. Because, and I think at that time it was also tricky because I'm having this chat with my mom in hospital, and she's mm. saying stuff like, "Make sure you look after your sisters." Like, why does it sound like you're going to? Hey, her? bro. Um, like, so sh- yeah, that was it. Was it was a, I think for me, like for me, maybe personally, those two incidents are like, okay, you got to get get. It, Get as much as you can. As much as you can, for sure. Like, yeah. where you can, do what you can. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. I get that. I think even, <clears throat> I think in, in, in line with, yeah, it's in line with, like, just off, even, like, the financial chat of, like, knowing information, dude. Like, yeah. as as South Africans, as Africans, information. Like, yeah. information is, like, a superpower for us. Yeah. And there is a little bit of, laziness quote unquote but i feel like we have enough platforms and enough yeah when i say platforms not just like you know content platforms but mm. like even like a youtube or like a mm. yeah, google chat gpt chat gpt is awesome guys let me tell you guys that mm. it's the second time i talk about chat gpt right mm. it's freaking awesome like i have a whole account i just be <laughs> trying stuff there and it bring, pops up the craziest things yeah but like <clears throat> it literally can explain like the basic things yeah. like as if it's explained to like a 10 year old yeah. and you freaking get it so and it's what it's what google doesn't do like today i asked google something i asked so in terms of like the whole trip to new orleans mm-hmm. i wanted to find out like if we fly from new orleans on like a saturday when we will be la- we'll land in durban cuz i'm trying to cuz the same time as like cotton fest yeah yeah um and i was trying to see like what that looks like and it literally like chat GPT answer. Google couldn't answer me. Google gave me flight options. Mm. Right? Mm. See the difference? Mm. Chat GPT explained to me 
based on projection of flights this and this it would need to know some specific time but generally you should land here yeah. you should land on a sunday or monday evening mm. i'm like that's solid mm. but anyway information wise that's we should get information you know mm. on what you're talking about on finances da 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 yeah we should it's very key for us yeah Uh Twitter. We need to wrap it up, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Twitter is now with 33% of its purchase value. Remember it was bought bought by Elon Musk for 44 44 billion. Okay. It's now with only 33% of that. It hasn't even been a year. Oh, hectic. But okay, I get it. And I think I know why because okay, he's done he so much. He regrets the purchase. Did he say that? I forgot what the tweet was. I saw something after that after reading that article. I was like, let me go see how he's Feeling. How he feels. The, the yeah, I forgot yeah. what he said, but you can hear, he re- you can see he regrets the purchase. Like, it shouldn't have been, it was overpriced. And I think I was just trying to remind everyone, listen guys, my dick is bigger than yours, I'm going to buy it. Yeah, yeah. Now your big dick is just hanging in dry. You need Vaseline. Okay, okay, okay. But, this is so wild. This guy, guys. Okay, but, contrary, I feel that tide's going to change. I do. I think so. I do. It's Twitter, a public company. Yes. No. Buy I don't know. Okay. People. I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. It's yeah, a gamble, and I'm not a financial advisor. But buy shares now. I think it's gonna change because two years la- later, watch. Because of because he he did the whole he did what um what Mark did in terms of like Facebook. Yeah. It's Meta now, right? Yeah. yeah. And that's like a whole move. Yeah. So he changed Twitter. What's the Twitter one? I forgot. What's the Twitter one? What's the Twitter one? You forgot. I don't know the Twitter one. It'll be Twitter Blue. No, 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 no. There's a name like there's a. So now it's not called Twitter Inc. He changed the name, okay, or he kind of he kind of put under another company, something like that. Yeah, I just forgot what it's called. Yeah, <clears throat> but it's the same move as Meta because like now the vision is bigger. It's not just like this platform where we're just tweeting. Yeah, it's a bigger concept. Yeah, and that's what I also understood when he got when he copped it. So meaning when you do the change, obviously there is a you're doing so much change that people are just like, mm, what are you doing? So yeah, the value tanks a little bit because people are not sure. Yeah, until you land the move, then the value comes up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what I think is going to happen. Yeah. I mean, I guess it always has to get worse before it gets better. That weird, Time that weird was, adage, like yeah, it always has yes, to get worse. Before it gets, yeah, yeah, I hate yeah. that thing. I hate it too. And it's like <laughs> oh, it's, it's even in the church. <laughs> like, ah, oh, I want to be the lead singer. Great, we'll start you with Sunday school, uh, sir. That is not what I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has to get worse before it gets better. Unfortunately, we yeah. have to go through stage ten before we can have no load shedding. Okay, don't use that. And, uh, I'm sorry, South Africa. That's just our reality. We terrible. have to have total darkness in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine as parents saying that to the kids? Don't worry, son. It has to get worse before it gets oh, sorry. We I have to have homework. total darkness in the country before we have light. No, it's terrible. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anything else? Uh, Hungani, a friend of ours, Hungani and Jobu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Join Scheme Sam. Oh, hectic. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah, no, Shout that man's out. working. No, he's working for real. Yeah, no. I'm I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of that man. We should actually tell him to come through. We should, actually. Yeah. Um, You'll talk to him? I'll talk to him. Because you had him on, like, handle the heat. Yeah. Yeah, talk to bring, him. Come with those wings as well. Yeah, we should have somebody sponsor us with food, actually. Because I'm, I'm hungry right now. I was like, yo. We should have a food sponsor. I like the hint, 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 hint. We'll leave the dead air here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hit him up. Let's see what we what we can do. Yeah. Um, you know what popped up? Sorry, in the timeline, it was very interesting. Old news, but popped up again now because like, you know, Boiti, Boiti and Bougie conversation. Mm-hmm. Somebody said they saw a picture of Boiti with no makeup, and you can see her scar mm. from that incident when. Bougie did whatever, yeah, and we never, cause the that never surfaced like the post of it, mm. and yeah, the lady was like, "Yo, you could see that that guy did a number on her, cause something about her eye, something mm. like that." I think was so crazy. Can I can I can I quickly be random with what, with what, with what with this yeah, conversation? Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, I like how the consequence of being known as, I guess, a GBV perpetrator, affects. The out uh, the rest of your life or whatever. Yes, like, okay, yeah. you got to struggle making money, getting gigs, whatever else. Yeah, that's exactly what I want for acts of racism. It shouldn't mm. just be oh we're gonna find you. No, you're not allowed <laughs> to register a business for the next five years. Yes. Your kid can't go to university. It must be it must be hard. hard. The whole family has to pay for that. Yes, and I feel like oh no, we're gonna go. Oh, it's too much for them. As Africans, we're sometimes too forgiving. 
That's fact. And we're gonna we're gonna keep being played as clowns. Yeah. But and and I'm wondering why can't we just copy paste how we are handling the GBB perpetrators? Yeah. And go okay, yeah. racist. This is for you as well now. This is how bad it's gonna get. I fully agree. I think, um, for the most part, a lot of the times, um, the like GBV incidents, the guys, and you know some of the females that come up in the conversation, you see the effects of what they've done and how it comes up publicly, yeah. etc. So I agree with you. I think that's a whole chat, like, because I was thinking about it with the whole uh, Vinnie Junior situation. I know you guys spoke about it with. Uh, you know, Fei Fei and, yeah. and, 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 and XXC Legacy. Um, that, the club should have got penalized heavily on a move like that. Mm. And that's just generally because it's not even the first time it happens to him. Mm. And it's not even the first time it happens to a black soccer player. Yeah. You know, but as soon as that it affects the club, mm. affects the fans and affects the league, mm. I think people will kind of think twice about saying some really wild stuff. Yeah. Because sometimes just because you don't like something, you don't need to say it. Yeah. That's what people are not understanding. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't mean, and that's the whole freedom of speech thing in America, Mm -hmm. right? Which is Mm -hmm. so crazy. Mm -hmm. But I believe that. Like, just because you don't like something, sometimes you don't need to say you don't like it. Yeah. Because not everybody in the room shares the same opinion. Yeah. It's different if we all share the same opinion, then we can all have a conversation about it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But... Yeah, yeah, just a little bit of, I mean, a little sensitivity, I guess, or whatever. Yeah. But I feel like they're not feeling it, and that's what you're saying. Yeah. The people that experience, that are in GBV conversation, they experience this thing. Yeah. You know, but in racism chats, not so much. Yeah. And that's a change that should yeah. happen. I feel that. I mess with that. Yeah. You're 100% right. We, we we didn't speak about the babies that are being put in cardboard boxes at a Northwest hospital because <coughs> they don't have the resources or they were waiting for incubators. Please correct, correct this one. I didn't actually read. I just read the headline and I was like, this is in Northwest. crazy. Yeah. At a hospital. Yeah, there baby in, there's babies in cardboard. Card, ca- That's cardboard crazy. I might have seen that. Yeah. Incubators. That's wild. Like, once again, even for stuff like that, like if yes. someone's negligence is affecting Hospital the negligence. or the yes. death of someone or causing the death of someone, jail, forget being fired. Yes. Jail. Especially if there's death. Mm-hmm. Maybe we can be forgiving with delays and things not working out and we've got to wait mm-hmm. longer. Mm-hmm. But if where life is concerned, oh, jail. Yeah. It's not just, oh, you can't get a job. No, you must be in jail. Because you commonly, we commonly have that in our services. Yeah. We're just like, people are just negligent and then people like die. Yeah. I feel you like know? that should be the, the penalty. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. And, and it upsets me that chat also with hospitals or medical negligence and stuff. Mm. Um, I oh, know they suspended pers- the manager. Like, but the manager can't really do anything because she's waiting. She's probably waiting for incubators, whatever things they need to make sure. Yeah, you can't suspend the manager. You're suspending the wrong person. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so crazy. I think, you know, as a country, we are dealing with a lot, etc. Um, <clears throat> Reaper rate just went up. Wild. Super wild. Like, what must happen, dog? I think we I need th- more white comedians. I don't know why, but I feel like we need you guys. Say something. Say something that will just make Cyril go, you know what? Maybe they are right. I'm <laughs> serious. This man said we need more white comedians. I don't know. <laughs> That's Wait, the solution. Is that the solution <laughs> you're going to put in parliament when you, if, he's, if you're sitting in parliament? <laughs> Fellow South African. Uh, Madam Speaker, <laughs> we need more whites. <laughs> because you are stressed. We're stressed. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, look. It's it's wild. It's crazy out here. Mm. Um, but for the most part, uh, yes, go to a comedy comedy se- uh, session. Go to a comedy club. Laugh a little bit. Uh, maybe I think we should be pushing a couple of side hustles. Push something on the side. Oh, you need that for sure um, for us to move. And I think there's quite a few things. I mean, I always tell people like we're in a whole different generation. We're, in the, we're literally in the 22nd century right now. Mm. And there's a lot that's different. Even though the economy chats are the way they are, I think there's also a lot of opportunities to just make to make a little bit of money Definitely. because of how things are structured. So I think, yeah, um, that's this week. Crazy. It's been a lot. It's actually been a lot. Thank you for coming back home. Nah, shout out. Shout out. I miss. I kept watching the episodes. I'm like, yo, and yeah. you come back. Take us home. And you come back. Yeah, so shout out. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. We really, really do appreciate it. Um Last week's episode is over 2K views or something like that. Like, That's so crazy. Oh, you guys like this. Shout out. Yes, we appreciate that. 
Um, we're gonna just keep doing our thing and just trying to creatively give you, creatively, excuse me, give you dope content and dope conversations. Mm-hmm. Um, like, comment, subscribe. You guys know I like saying that. It's really dope. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, this oh, and shout out to Chateau Dore. Shout, shout out to them. Um, we appreciate them. Um, they've, they've sponsored us on a couple of things, but we appreciate them. Like working with them. Um, yeah, that's the yeah. That's before your weekend. Before the weekends. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, go out, have fun, do your thing, but take care of yourself. It is cold, guys. Right? You can mice groove. It's a real thing. It's okay, and it will save you money. But if she tells you to come over, she just wants you to pay for dinner. She's capping. <laughs> Stay home. That's my advice. It's been Stay good. Home. It's been good. Thank you very much, guys. On time. <laughs>